Now there is a sign there, but it's really about Chocolate City. And it really lists your events. And, and my one question we had right off, the, right off the bat is, your Chocolate City Memorial Day weekend, what do you do the other 362 days of the year? Because we couldn't find it. And so that was kind of a challenge. Now you do list your events there. You know, one thing that I thought, if you want to be the Chocolate City, because you know what, we've worked in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and that's Chocolate Town. Wasn't there, there was probably, I think there was some kind of a lawsuit or something about that. We're Chocolate City, they're Chocolate Town. You know, and there, the, even the street lights are like Hershey Kisses. They have Hershey Park, which is like a theme park. Um, you know what, Hershey's, doesn't even make chocolate in Hershey, Pennsylvania anymore. But they still own the brand. If, I know you're Nestle, that's the competition, but if you, you still could be chocolate, but I thought, well, if you had a confectioner with the chocolate specialty, I didn't see one, I thought, well, what if you did, you know, more chocolate-related events, maybe like 10 a year? I know you spend all year doing chocolate fest, and you go, oh my gosh, we're so burned out, you want us to do more? But maybe all it is is a fondue part, chocolate fondue party in the park. I mean, if you had a fudge shop in town, or if you had, did you know signs about chocolate, where the beans come from, well, how Nestle produces them, anything. And I thought if you did restaurants that serve specialty chocolate dishes or desserts, like chocolate creme brulee, is there such a thing? It probably is. You know, I mean, just if you, you could still own it. If you had retailers selling chocolate recipe books, I mean, famous Burlington brownies, you know, um, you know, that would work really well in Canada. I hear they just legalized marijuana. <laughs> I don't know if Wisconsin, they could be Alice's brownies. Anyway, but even if you just had, if you had somebody that made brownies, good brownies, healthy brownies, um, something like that, and then great chocolate, ice cream, sundaes, maybe locally made. If you did chocolate fondue events every Saturday, hot chocolate variations at winter events. I love hot, I love peppermint hot chocolate. I mean, you could do some cool things. Because all we saw was we saw this chocolate fest. I mean, we, we did drive in there and we're just going, is anything else ever happened in this space? I, I, just, I just think that you could take chocolate and still make it your brand, and how, Nestle may not be there to help you. You have to just do it on your own. Or what you do is say, what's next? I mean, I got to tell you that nobody that I know is going to move their family to Racine because they're the Kringle capital. And I love Kringles, and we had to go buy one, but it's not the reason we're going to live there. See what I mean? Now, chocolate has a lot more appeal than even Kringles. So you could do it, but it's going to take some work, and you're going to need to get your retailers and your businesses. You know, maybe when you check in Hampton, you know, all Hilton properties, they give you cookies, but maybe they're, uh, you know, they're, and they do chocolate chip, and maybe these are extra special because you're Chocolate City. You could still do the brand, but you're going to have to do more than you're doing now. One weekend a year is not enough. 